Friday the 13th. Now please stand for a moment of silence followed by Twitter religion. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Friday celebration today is going to be so awesome. Yes, and it's going to be epic. So what is the Friday celebration? The Friday celebration happens once every six weeks. Uh, we do it on the fifth week of the grading period. It is for students that uh, don't have an F in any of their classes and have less than three missing assignments. And as the name states, it's on Friday. It is this Friday. Um, It'll be down here on the first floor and it'll happen during tutorial um, and I think part of SSR. Uh, we'll have some basketball going on, the courtyard will be available, uh, we'll have some games going on out there, and the big gym will be open, we'll be doing some, um, we'll have the video screen down and playing some videos. Clint, have you heard about the field trip to Lord of the Flies? Yes, it's going to be really cool. Now let's roll the trailer! missing assignments? No, I don't, Clint. Well, I do, and it's not very pleasant. So let's go to an interview with Mr. Bodie. Mr. Bodie, what is the penalty for missing assignments, and why is it important to turn them all in? If a student at Bachelor Middle School is missing three or more missing assignments in one class, or overall, the students will not be allowed to participate in Friday celebrations each six weeks. Um, the student will then be assigned a Friday school where they stay after school for two and a half hours on a Friday, obviously, and work and get caught up on their missing work. Why is it important for students to turn in their homework? It's important so teachers know that if the students understand what is being taught to them. Therefore, we teachers can move on to the next part of the lesson. This week's feature will be about Mrs. Schaefer and how she is leaving Bachelor to be the librarian at Granby Elementary School. BTV was able to get an exclusive interview with Mrs. Schaefer. Tell us about your new job. I'm going to be the new library media specialist at Grandview Elementary. Are you excited about this opportunity? It's a great opportunity. I'm so excited to go. I've been trained to be a librarian, and um, I'm really honored to be chosen. Uh, could you tell us a few of your favorite memories at Bachelor? Bachelor has been great. Um, I've loved watching all the technology come into the building and how our teachers and students have grown as technology users, and how our students have enjoyed reading during SSR. How many years have you taught at Bachelor, and what will you miss the most? I've been at Bachelor for over 17 years, and I will miss the people. Um, there's nobody like the teachers at Bachelor. They're the best, and the kids in middle school are always so lively. Um, I'll, I'll miss their energy. Congratulations, Mr. Schaefer. Hey, Bulldogs, participate in fundraisers, collect those ducks. Auditions for Frankenstein are next week. Talk to Mr. Redkin. Now, here's an interview with Mr. Gilpin about Carry On. Mr. Gilpin, why did we choose the theme Carry On for this year, and how does it apply to our students? Carry On was based on a uh, video that I saw this summer on an article that ESPN had done about uh, a couple students who were really went through really difficult times and the idea was uh, behind that and applying to us is that we need each other uh, to get moving to help 
carry on during those difficult times. And I believe it's not just individuals who need to um, help themselves through difficult times, but it's, we need each other. We need our friends, we need teachers, we need parents. Uh, we need everybody around here to help us, uh, whether it's academic, um, whether it's uh, struggling because kids are picking on us, bullying, harassing, uh, or just str struggles in general uh, from home and school. So um, it takes a team effort uh, to carry on, to fight through it, and uh, I believe that this theme, Carry On, um, helps remind us of the importance of helping each other out. So Destiny, how is our three teams doing so far? Glad you asked, Kobe. Seventh grade team is doing pretty good with a score of 1-1-1 and eighth grade team with two wins and one loss. Oh, that's right. And our volleyball team is doing great and getting better and better with each game. And our cross country team, going undefeated so far in the season. Now to an interview with Libby. How has your team been doing this season? Our team is doing really well. I just think there's a couple of things that we can improve on and I think we'll get very better during the year. What do you think you have most need to improve on? Um, I think we need to improve on communication, like being loud and like calling the ball and stuff like that. Thanks, Libby. Next week we have a few games for you Bulldog fans. Yeah, we do. We have on Monday our cross country meet versus Bedford at home and with our volleyball team versus Olytic also at home. And on Tuesday we have a football game versus Owen Valley away. And last on Thursday we have a cross country meet versus Jackson Creek and Owen Valley and that game will also be away. And don't forget volleyball on Thursday versus Bedford. That's all for sports. Now you're tuned in for the Brain Trainer. The answer to last week's Brain Trainer was England in 1939 to prepare British citizens for the German bombing of London during World War II. Now to Miss Martin with this week's Brain Trainer. Here's today's Brain Trainer. And get ready, it's a math one. Get your pencils. If I have some quarters and nickels. I have 11 more nickels than quarters and I have $2.65. How many quarters do I have? So I have 11 more nickels than quarters and I have a total of $2.65. How many quarters do I have? Take your answers to Mr. Rudkin in room 220. Sonny off. 